Chloe and I are all dressed up because we're gonna go take some pics so we can have some pictures to post on Instagram. And I want to vlog a little bit of this because the pictures that we're taking now are the pictures that I'll be editing. So right now I have on like a grungy outfit, like I have on my chain and my dress, oh, my boots, and Chloe is on a cute little tank. Don't even look dressed up, but everybody else is dressing up as like my extra dressing up. Yeah. Everybody's casual is my dressing up. That's okay. We also packed some more outfits in there so we can take lots of pictures, so we can have lots of pictures to post on Instagram all the time. I'm just gonna get a few clips of us taking pictures so you can see um like where we take pictures and what kind of outfits we wear and stuff like that. Right now I think we're heading to like maybe like a brick wall or something down on the square because we found a really pretty like field of flowers but I don't want to wear like my chain and my boots That's next to some flowers. <laughs> See you when we get where we're going. I left my camera in the car which is right over there which I could go get it but no thanks. But we're here at this brick wall and it says like one minute at Chrysler, I don't really know. Something car. So we took some at this wall because it looked it looked cool with my outfit. And then we took some right there and that lighting was bomb diggity. And yeah, now we're gonna go to the next place. <laughs> I don't know where we're gonna go now. I don't know if if we find another cool spot for this outfit, I might take a few more. We're but back in the car. We have a lot of pictures. This is our first outfit. <laughs> but I'm gonna go through um, while Chloe's driving to the next place and I'm gonna like airdrop the pictures of me to me so she doesn't have to have like all of them on her phone, you know? We're gonna go to our next place. Big, Probably change our outfit. Right. Right. Okay, so I haven't really been filming a whole lot because I suck, but um, we went to a bridge um, and we took some pictures there and like buy some rocks and stuff and then we just went to a field of flowers and we took pictures there I wasn't in this outfit I was in a dress and now we're gonna go to the same yellow wall that we took some of me by in my dress and we're gonna take some by some more by that and then I think we're gonna go to a tennis court and take some pictures there too so pretty much just like we live in a really small town, so it's not like we have like a huge variety of stuff, but you can literally take pictures anywhere. So just like drive around wherever you live and stop and take some pics, and I'm sure they'll be cute. Pictures are always cute depending on the way that you edit them. They could be really ugly, and if you edit it right, it could be really cute. But yeah, we're gonna, I, I think we're gonna do this outfit and then maybe one more, or are we gonna do just this outfit? I think I'm saving that. What's up guys? So you just saw all of that footage from whenever Chloe and I went and took all of those pictures today when we went on a little photo shoot and it is it is 7.38 and today as you can tell by the title of the video and I said it earlier I'm going to be doing a how I edit my Instagram pictures but I wanted to add a little bit of that footage in to show you like what kind of outfits I wear, where we go and all the different kinds of stuff but I get lots and lots of questions about how I edit my Instagram pictures, so I'm just gonna get right into it. Let's go. So first of all, before anything, you're gonna need to download these two apps. You're gonna need Lightroom and um, Dropbox. So first of all, you're gonna wanna go to this video. It's this video, you can see it on the screen right here. Um, I will have it linked in the description below. And in the description of it, right here where it says preset link you're gonna want to click on that open it in Safari you're gonna have to wait a few seconds up at the top where it says wait to one zero and then you'll press skip add and then the reason you need Dropbox is because it's gonna go to Dropbox as you can see and then you're gonna wanna click the three buttons up in the corner, click export, scroll over to Lightroom and press copy to Lightroom. And so it's exporting and then it's gonna take you to Lightroom. So that's why you need that. 
And then this is where I edit all of my pictures as you can see. I already have the preset on my phone so it's not gonna show you this, but you're going to want to um, like save it, like type a name in for it and save it to your presets. And then it'll be in your preset area. So that's how, that's the preset that I use. Um, mine's just, called Emma Marie preset because I learned how to do this from Emma Marie's how I edit my Instagram pictures video so I'm gonna link that below too so uh, she gets credit because that's where I learned how to edit my Instagram pictures so that is how I got the preset that I use to edit all of my pictures and now I'm gonna tell you how I edit my Instagram pictures so I am gonna go to my photos and as you can see we took a lot of pictures today I'm still scrolling, there's so many of them. We went to like four different places or something like that. And I'm just gonna start. Um, I'm gonna start at the last pictures that we took. Actually, I'm gonna start at the ones in the flower field, these ones. So, pretty much what I do is at the bottom, you can see the heart is blue. So I just go, I just scroll through every single one of the pictures and I, Part the ones that I think I'm going to want to use. So I'm going to go through and do that really quickly. Probably not really quickly, but it's going to look quick to you because it's going to be in fast motion. the ones at the uh, sunflower field and so after I go through all of them and I heart the ones that I want I just go through and delete all of the ones that I didn't put a heart on sometimes I go through them one or two times sometimes I don't I'm not going to this time because we took so many that I don't need to you know just delete those ones um, I'm only gonna go through the sunflower ones but I would do that with all the rest of the pictures too now I'm gonna go to Lightroom I'm gonna press the three dots add photos from camera roll I'm gonna go down actually I'm gonna click this and then go to favorites so they're because they're in there so they're easy to find and then I'm going to select all of the pictures perfect and add photos so then it takes a second for them to pop up but it'll let you know whenever all of them have exported or uploaded or whatever imported that's the word Okay, now I'm gonna click on the one in the, the first one. I'm not gonna edit that one yet. Okay, so this is my first one. You scroll over to presets, click on Emma Marie. And now that made it look like super washed out, you know? I also made my own presets. You can do that. You can like edit your picture and then you can like set it to a preset so you don't have to like edit it like that anymore. It'll just like be like that when you edit it. So I like it like this, but I'm gonna go back to the Emma Marie one because that's the one I am showing you guys how to use. And then you can just mess with it in the colors. I'm gonna bring the green all the way up because I want I want the trees and stuff to, I mean, no, I want the trees and the grass to be super green. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna bring the yellow up a little bit. And the luminance also up a little bit. I'm gonna go back and move the orange down. I'm just gonna play around with it. Bring the blues back. Okay, so I like it like that. Actually, I'm gonna bring the pink up a little bit just to bring the pink and reddish colors out and undertones out in my skin. Okay, so that's how I like this picture edited. So I'm gonna assume that's how I like all of my other field pictures edited. So I'm gonna click the three dots up in the corner and I'm gonna click create preset. 
and I'm gonna name it Sunflower Field. That's not how you spell field, I'm, I'm illiterate. And then click the check mark. And then I slide over to whatever the picture is I wanna edit next, click presets, go to user presets, click Sunflower Field, and then that's uh, it took how I edited the last picture and put it onto this one. So, I'm just gonna go through and mess with a bunch of these. <laughs> I have a really hard dis time deciding on how I want my pictures edited because like right now I don't know if I like it better with this one so like it's brighter and like uh, the brightness is higher and the colors are kind of more washed out or if I like it like this where the color is more bright I don't know what I want I think I want the colors more washed out so I'm just gonna go through and put that preset on all of them. See, but now with this picture, I like the other one better. I like it either way. Nope. I like the bright colors better. Okay. Then I'm gonna save to camera roll. Not for me to say. So, that's how I'm editing those. I'll go back through and edit the rest later. So, that is basically how I edit my Instagram pictures for everyone who ever asks. If you guys have any more questions, comment them down below. I would love to answer them. So the lucky winner of the giveaway is Julia Devers. Congratulations, girl. I will message you on Instagram, and if she doesn't reply in 24 hours, then I will pick a new winner. But as of right now, it is Julia Devers. Congratulations. If you reply to my DM, I will ship you out your stuff as soon as possible. Congratulations. Thank you for following all the rules, subscribing to me, following me, and supporting me most of all. Thank you so much. So, that is it for the video. Thank you all for watching so much. I love you so, so much. Comment down below video ideas because my brain has none right now and I need some because I need to get back on my posting schedule. Thank you all for watching. I know I already said that, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all so, so much. See you in the next one. Bye.